Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi again. Uh, we continue with question 3 and question 4 for the second video. Okay, I want you to pause the video and copy the question. Okay, so now I'm going to give a hint. Um, or I'm going to guide you on how do we solve question 3 and question 4. We start with, with question 3 first. So question 3 asks you to convert 250 cm square into mm square. Okay, so now you need to remember the relation of cm to mm. So this is the relation. Uh, is it too near? Is it too near? Wait. Yeah, I'm going to get a uh, good angle. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think that is good. Okay, so convert 250cm square into mm square. So what you need to know, the first relation that you need to know is how do we convert from cm to mm? So how do we do this? Okay, we know that 1 cm, you need to remember this relation, okay? 1 cm is equals to 10 mm. Okay, so if I have 1 cm square, okay, I square, I square the power, so it's 10 square mm. Okay, so now we have 250 cm square so how many mm okay how many mm okay try to solve that 250 1 cm square equals to 10 square mm so 250 cm square so how do we get that value okay try first if you don't know how to do you can simply text me but the answer for this one is I'm going to give you the answer so that you can check. Okay. So the answer is you should be you should get two five mm. Okay, so that is this is the answer. If you don't know how to get this, please text me, please message me so that I can explain to you again. Okay, but we have covered this in the previous week. Week 35. You can simply uh, refer to the previous video or you can simply text me. Okay, so we are done with number 3. So now number 4. Number 4. I hope you have copied. Eh? You, should, you should copy the question. You should copy all questions. Okay, so the diagram shows a triangular prism. Triangular prism whose cross section is a right angle triangle of sides 6, 8 and 10. Okay, so the surface here, the up here, the above one here. Okay, that is a right angle triangle. Okay, sketch a net of this prism. Okay, so sketch a net. How do we get net? Is you open your solid. You open your solid. So you need to imagine a bit. So you open your solid. Please make sure you follow the correct dimension. Okay, use the correct dimension. If this is 4, inside a drawing also you need to draw 4. If this is 8, inside a drawing, your net drawing also you need to make sure you have 8 as the length of the sides. Okay, so open the, the that one first. Uh, to get the answer for A. B. Calculate the total surface area of the prism. Prism. So, when you get your net, you have opened your net, you have opened your solid. Let's say you have something like that again. This is not the answer, okay? I just want to explain. How do we get, how do we calculate the total surface area? Okay, so this is the same concept as in the previous uh, video where you need to calculate the area. Oh, sorry. You need to calculate the area one by one. Calculate this area. Calculate this area. Okay, A. Eh? Calculate this area. Calculate this area. Then you just add. Okay. How do you know what is the length, what is the uh, length of the sides? You refer to this diagram. Okay. Okay. Eh? So, make sure you do. Sang it. <laughs> make sure you do uh, these four questions. For, uh, for this week. This is your work for this week. Okay, four questions only. It's not hard at all. But if you have any problem, feel free to text me. Or if you cannot see the question also, feel free to text me. But I think it's quite clear. You can see. I think you guys can see. Okay. Okay. Bye. So not touch the tea, guys.